Hey guys, this is the second video of an 11 part series from Rush Schaefer Landau's The Fundamentals of Ethics, in which he attempts to elucidate the flaws found in 11 popular skeptical arguments, thus leading to a defense of moral objectivity. As you can see in the top left corner, here is his book, The Fundamentals of Ethics, which I would highly recommend to anyone who is becoming interested in moral philosophy. A popular thought in some circles is that claims can be true only relative to individual perspectives. On this line, there are no objective truths at all. Forget about morality for a moment. Claims in logic, chemistry, or history can never be objectively true either. So it is no surprise that objective morality is an illusion. The first thing to note about this argument is that, if it works, there is no special problem for morality. Most moral skeptics are trying to show that morality is in some way second-rate, that it fares poorly in contrast to more precise disciplines such as mathematics and physics. By embracing a global kind of skepticism, this argument abandons that strategy. The argument against objective truths could not be any simpler. Premise 1. There are no objective truths. 2. The conclusion. Therefore, there are no objective moral truths. Now, an important thing to note is notice in the argument there is only one premise. Many may be confused by this since most arguments contain more premises until the conclusion is reached. But an argument with one premise is not an issue at all. In this case, the logic is perfect in that if premise one is true, then premise two must also be true. Premise one must follow directly to two. The main problem with this argument rests in premise one. There are no objective truths. The problem with this argument is in its premise. Premise 1 is either true or false. If it is false, then the argument crumbles right away. So suppose that it is true, but this is impossible. The premise cannot be true. If it were true, then there would be at least one objective truth. Premise 1. Ultimately, this argument fails. No matter how we look at it, this premise is false, and Landau concludes by asserting that since the premise is false, it would follow directly from that, that there are at least some objective truths out there, and perhaps none of them is a moral one, but this argument is unreliable in supporting such skepticism. 